contoh lagi. I'll give you a hand with this axle, Don. Oh, be careful. It's dirty. It'll make your hands dirty. It'll make your clothes dirty. Uh, be careful. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to make it straight. See? It's bent. As roda itu bengkok. Oh, yes, it's bent. I can see. Yes, so I want to make it straight. Pass me the hammer. Thanks. Hold that end. Right? Are you okay? Is it making your hand sore? No, it's okay, Don. <laughs> But the noise might make me deaf. <laughs> Dengarkan lagi beberapa contoh. I'm trying to make it straight. It'll make your clothes dirty. It'll make your hands dirty. It'll make your hands sore. The noise might make me deaf. Suara itu dapat membuat saya tuli. The noise might make me deaf. Satu hal lagi tentang kata kerja make kalau dipakai dengan kata sifat. Coba dengarkan. I want to make it straight. I want to straighten it. I want to straighten it. Kata kerja make kadang-kadang diganti. Kata sifat straight diubah menjadi kata kerja dan diberi akhiran en. Straight, straighten. Sweet, sweeten. I want to make it straight. Artinya sama dengan I want to straighten it. Ulangilah sesudah Don. I want to straighten it. Tetapi tidak semua kata sifat dapat diubah seperti itu. Yang dapat diubah hanyalah kata-kata sifat yang pendek dan biasanya berakhir dengan bunyi te, de, atau ke. Misalnya, short, shorten, wide, widen. Weak, weaken. Light, lighten. Hard, harden. Sad, sadden. Thick, thicken. Sekarang, berlatihlah dengan mengubah bagian kalimat yang memakai kata kerja make dan kata sifat. Misalnya, He heated the metal to make it soft. Diubah menjadi, He heated the metal to soften it. Coba ubah kalimat ini. She put in some sugar to make it sweet. Ulangi sesudah Don. She put in some sugar to sweeten it. Bagus. Coba kerjakan latihan berikut seperti contoh tersebut. Dan ulangi jawaban yang benar sesudah saudara mendengarnya. Siap? He wanted to make the axle straight. He wanted to straighten the axle. Sickness makes us weak. Sickness weakens us. Make the rope tight. Tighten the rope. Kembali kita pada Don dan Bird. Well, I think we've straightened it, Dad. Have a look. Yes, it's straight. Good. Now, we have to make it shorter. It's too long. We have to shorten it.
Saudara pendengar, Iwan baru saja datang ke tempat Don dan Jane. Hello everyone. Hello Iwan. Good day Iwan. How was the exam? Oh, it wasn't too bad. It was easier than last week. Oh, what's that? Bird, what's that? Kedengarannya seperti mesin mobil. Oh, it made me jump. Oh, suara itu membuat saya terkejut. Yes, it made me jump too. What an awful noise. Oh, that's Ray's car. He gave me a lift. He's gone over to Lucia's place with Chris. Saudara pendengar, sekarang telah saudara ketahui beberapa contoh penggunaan kata kerja make yang diikuti kata kerja lain dalam suatu kalimat yang artinya sesuatu menyebabkan suatu keadaan pada seseorang. Coba dengarkan. The noise made me jump. The noise made me jump. It made me jump. Satu contoh lagi. Jane membujuk Margaret dan Bert untuk makan siang di tempat mereka. Jane made us have lunch here. Yes, I made them have lunch here. Sekarang suatu percakapan lagi. Coba dengarkan beberapa contoh. Ewan, when you talk about exams, you make me feel old. Do I? Yes. You make me feel old. I remember when I was a student, I used to do exams at this time of the year, near Christmas, when the weather was hot. Well, I remember when I was at school doing exams, and that was a long time ago. The teachers were strict then. Guru-gurunya bersikap keras pada waktu itu. Yes, the teachers were strict then. They used to make us work hard. And my parents used to make me work hard at home too. Do you remember any of the teachers? Oh, yes. There was one old...